Hi my peeps, what's up Wagwan? Welcome back to your girl Tio in the house. Yes, and let's cook with me guys. Leave me a little bit of like and subscribe for other amazing content. Now I'm going to do some dinner. I'm going to cook up some Jamaican dinner. And I'm going to cook some stew chicken. Some brown stew chicken with macaroni. guys mm -hmm. so first we're gonna season up the meat and we're gonna let it sit for a few hours okay so we have lots of good season here my blended season my garlic paste my ginger paste pimento soya sauce Worcestershire and season and I have tomato and bell pepper I'm gonna add some more in the freezer black pepper and all of that okay so let's start we're gonna do the dry rub first my paprika, I'm going to put like a tablespoon. Paprika give it a nice color. My all-purpose seasoning, I'm going to put one, two teaspoon. And I'm also going to put like two teaspoon of my Maggi all-purpose seasoning. One. Just put a little bit, guys. Two black pepper about half teaspoon and this one is like a garlic herb and spice I'm gonna put like half teaspoon few fermenter green I'm gonna put about two tablespoon of soya sauce one two about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce A tablespoon of my blended seasoning I will leave a link and another teaspoon of my garlic paste and <laughs> this was my ginger paste okay guys I'm gonna add about two teaspoon of browning one two you can put more or less okay and over here I have some scotch bunny pepper remember to wash your hand after and over here I have some Kellyan and onion or green onions and then we're gonna go in and you're gonna mix up everything oh wait I forgot my time wait guys forgot the time I have some dried thyme here and I'm gonna put a little bit of half teaspoon all right and that's it this is how Jamaican people season up them chicken okay guys well you can't cook for Jamaican people you know put season upon the chicken and they need to have some color okay yeah this is this is just the Jamaican way Jamaican style <laughs> Alright, look at that. You want to let this sit for a few hours, whether two to four hours, or if you don't have no time, just give it an hour. Even overnight would be ideal. Alright, and then I'm going to come back. Alright, my peeps, I'm back, and this is the macaroni I'm going to use. Okay, so yes, this is the macaroni, and this, this is it. Alright, and we're going to put some um, olive oil. This is the cold press. I'm going to put about two tablespoons. So two tablespoons. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour everything out all at once. And I'm going to keep like a tablespoon of water to rinse this out. Just shake it out like this, okay guys? You're gonna make it brown up. We're 
gonna let this fry up for a few minutes all right and i'm gonna cover it don't add any water yet okay guys just keep stirring it for a few minutes guys can you see it it spring its own water and you don't have to worry about it see just continue to let it just cook up a little bit and fry up a little bit see no water yet guys yes all right so that's about five minutes five to seven minutes gone we're gonna put it back for another five to ten minutes and we're gonna come back and in the meantime you want to put on some hot water okay yeah and over here i'm cooking some rice i have about two and a half cups of rice some green onion or scallion and some olive oil a little bit of salt that's it all right guys this is where we're at so it fry up and cook down somewhat no water added yet give it a little stir look at that goodness mm -hmm. now we're gonna add a little bit of hot water about one cup and a half or so not too much and then we're gonna add some Mixed vegetable, some bell peppers. All right. All right, guys. Now, at the same time, pull it with some here. And at the same time, I'm gonna go in with some um, macaroni or spaghetti. I'm gonna put about a uh, half cup. And you're gonna turn your stove down and let this simmer down, okay? I put a little bit more water. So about two cups of water there, guys. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna let this simmer down. Guys, the reason why I don't tell you how long to cook your chicken some chicken are younger the younger the meat the tender it is the older the chicken the top i be all right guys so you want to cook your chicken until it start to semi fall off the bone like when you use a fork and break it off it just a rip off nice and tender and nice okay so that's the reason i don't really tell you how long to cook it because depending on the fall sometimes they fall tough <laughs> all right guys so just let this simmer down it's over 25 minutes now since it's there so i'm gonna let it simmer down for another half an hour to 45 minutes and then we're gonna come back and see how it looks before i forget guys i'm just gonna go in with just a little bit of ketchup about quarter cup because i i don't want to forget it and this is gonna help to give it the body as well as the the macaroni okay so just let this simmer down guys after i leave it turn the stove down and just let it simmer down okay all right guys this is a jamaican way you know when you want to stretch the food and i want to hold it down in my house yeah you stretch it like this so everybody get a little bit of everything okay all right and the rice is ready all right my son always said mommy oh you know i make no gravy if you eat the food <laughs> but guys if you love a lot of gravy go ahead and make some more don't have to make it dry out this much but this is how i like mine all right you still have some gravy in it yeah all right we're gonna serve up some all right my peeps over here um i let my son shred some carrot some cabbage and i have some green bell pepper and i slice some um strawberries okay i'm gonna make some coleslaw you can put whatever you want in it okay i'm gonna put about two teaspoons of lemon juice you want it a little bit tangy and i have two tablespoons of sugar 
and you can go ahead and put some mayonnaise in it guys but I'm not gonna put any mayo in it because I don't like mayonnaise it's not good for my health but you can go ahead and put um you can put some mayonnaise in it I'm just gonna serve this up fresh like that I'm gonna tip about a teaspoon of olive oil just like that and I'm just gonna have it just like that guys all right let's serve up some chicken done rice done coleslaw ready mm-hmm I also put a few cranberry pieces in it you do whatever you want to your salad okay let's plate up some I put some rice in this cup it better come out nice mm -hmm. oh dear mm -hmm. there <laughs> Ooh, finally you come out yes look at that beauty look at my chicken and macaroni yeah this are real Jamaican cooking guys can you see this mm -hmm. put some right here so You have enough to go around for everybody guys yes i think that's enough and over here whoo look at this goodness guys i'm just gonna plate some right here something like so all right my peeps and this is what i'm serving up all right this is what i'm talking about authentic original jamaican recipe all right so yes see there my brown stew chicken with my macaroni yeah if it's stretch mm, and some coleslaw i put two pieces of lemon and my cup of rice or my glass of rice all right guys this is some jamaican food for you love upon me and i love upon you mm-hmm just like that.